In this video, I will show you how to sell on Amazon FBA from scratch using the private label business model. I've made multiple seven figures doing this and I also teach my students how to do the same. Let's dive right in to get started. Before we get into today's tutorial, I want to invite all of you newbie Amazon FBA sellers to get my free training in the YouTube description below. Enter your name, enter your email address, and watch my short 20 minute training to the very end. You will get a chance to book a free one-on-one -on -one call with my team, and we will guide you through the entire process from beginning to end, how to find good products to sell on Amazon so you can make money. This is perfect for anyone who is having problems finding products to sell on Amazon. Now let's get into today's tutorial. Step one, I will be using the baby rabbit rattle as an example to show you how to sell products on Amazon and how you can make money from it. So this is page one of the baby rabbit rattle. Without scrolling down too far, I will be taking out my Helium 10 Chrome extension. And you guys all should have Helium 10 installed. If you do not, then please install Helium 10 because then you will be able to see all of the background data for all of these products on page one. Take advantage of my 50% off code for Helium 10. It is right here. And again, I will link that as well in the YouTube description below. Now, when I take a look here on the left-hand side, I see some products that are not baby rabbit rattles. There is packs of rattles that are by Fisher Price and I play that are not baby rabbit rattles. And today we only want to focus on baby rabbit rattles because I bought this for my own newborns and they absolutely love it. So I thought why not use this product as an example today. So let's remove these general type of products. So we are only focusing on baby rabbit rattles. Now when you guys are looking for products to sell on Amazon, it's so important that you are looking further down the specific niche that you want to sell in because Amazon has much more sellers now. And the more specific you can get with your product, the more sales you will make if your customers are searching for your product. So if you don't know what I mean, if someone types in baby rattles, that's not very specific. Instead, I want someone to type in baby rabbit rattle because most likely their children love baby rabbits. So they are more inclined to buy that product if they are looking for rabbit rattles. It looks like right here we have some random rattles as well and a carrot and a set of keys. I have these for my boys as well. This is a giraffe rattle. So you want to remove all of the products that are not baby rabbit, but looks like most of them are now. Um, now I'm not going to waste my time and go all the way down, but you get what I mean. Let's remove those, just remove any irrelevant products. And then what we want to do is source a product that is better than our competitors already on Amazon. So let's have a look at this guy. Now let's pretend that I am selling this product so I can walk you through the entire process on how this works. So this is a wooden baby rattle and it comes with a little pouch as you can see and the baby rattle including the pouch is $14.99 on Amazon. Monthly revenue is $7,509, not bad. For me personally, I like to look at products that are a little higher, but again, today I just want to show you how this process works and how you can do this for yourself so you can make money as well. So we have a clear image of this baby rabbit rattle. And then we are going to head over to alibaba.com. Now notice that I typed in the exact same keywords in Amazon and Alibaba, because I find that when I do that, uh, the products appear on Alibaba much quicker. Now, if you type in different types of keywords on Alibaba, you might see other products that are not related to rabbits and then it just gets more confusing. I can look at elephant type of rattles and silicone rattles, but I want to focus on baby rabbit rattle. So it looks like they can range anywhere from $4.24. Now this is the exact one that we see on Amazon, right? The exact one, voila, I found it right away. 
or you can look at a different supplier on the right hand side right here for $1.68. Like, wow, that is a huge price difference. Now, I do recommend you to message a handful of suppliers on Alibaba.com, negotiate and get the lowest price. But we now have a ballpark on how much we can source this from Alibaba. So we can source it from anywhere $1.68 to $4.24. Let's see if I can get it any lower. I really don't think so. You see, our rabbit does not look like this. And it does not look like this, obviously. $2.39 for these ones. And just so you guys are aware, let's say that you really want to go with this supplier right here, right? And they have a lower price for whatever reason, we just don't know. This price right here, it can also include some customization. Maybe it's better quality, maybe it's bigger, maybe it's smaller. It can mean so many different things. So a trick here is to show this image to this supplier and say something along the lines like, hey, look, I want my baby rabbit rattle to look like this. Um, may you please work on a better price for me. And maybe, just maybe, the supplier can help you get it closer to $1.68. That would be absolutely amazing. Now, if we just go with the average price cost per unit on Alibaba, let's just say it is $3. I think $3 is more than fair because that is between uh, $1.68 and $4.24. Now here is where the branding happens. You want to give to your supplier any type of packaging that you want for your rabbit. Um, you might want to include something with your rabbit. So for this seller right here, they included a pouch, but we want to be better than them right? We want to be better. So maybe we will include a better quality pouch. Maybe we will have another little rabbit. Maybe instead of one, we will do two. Or maybe we will do like um, maybe a charm or something that is better and different than what is already existing on amazon.com. That's the key to success on Amazon. Your product must appear better and it must be better than what is already on Amazon. Now this brand is called Wooden Teether. Wow, that is so creative. So you want to brand your product and have a brand name for your rabbit as well. Now on your product packaging, you obviously want your brand name on the product, you want your UPC barcode on the product, and you want to customize your product and improve the quality of it if possible. And most importantly, differentiate. Differentiating means making the product better than what is already out there. And that is branding your product. So sorry, that was step two. I got ahead of myself. That is step two, branding your product and sourcing it from Alibaba.com. So after you source your product from Alibaba.com, you've branded your product, it is now time to ship all of the units that you ordered from your supplier to Amazon FBA warehouse. So fulfillment by Amazon is FBA. I'm sure you guys know that. Let Amazon pick, pack and ship your orders. So this is step three. You will get your supplier or hire a freight forwarder to ship all of your inventory to the Amazon FB warehouse and Amazon's warehouse workers will pick, pack and ship your orders. All you do is live the laptop lifestyle and sit back and launch your product and watch the sales come in. Now, obviously it's easier said than done. Now, along your selling journey, there could be small issues that come up and that is for every single business that you try to do. Not just Amazon FBA, but in every business, there will always be problems and obstacles. So some common problems may be shipping takes a little longer, maybe your freight forwarder or your supplier is charging you a little more, uh, maybe the wait time is longer for inspection, the list goes on. There will always be challenges, but it's up to you to face those challenges and make shit happen. So the next thing we want to look at in step three is the fulfillment fees. Now we are not going to hide this at all. Yes, you can buy each unit for about $3 and yes, you can sell it for $14.99. Now what most sellers do not know is that Amazon will charge you a small fee for providing this service to you. So just to have an FBA account, it's $39.99 per month. I'm sure everyone can afford this. I'll be worried if you can't. But on top of that, for every single unit that you sell, on Amazon's platform because you are using Amazon's website and they have millions of shoppers every single day, Amazon will charge you a small fee. Now, what is that fee? You can use this calculator right here, FB Revenue Calculator, but I like to use Helium 10's calculator. I just find it much easier. And let's go to this bunny rabbit right here. Go to Estimate Profitability. 
Now I showed you this in my previous product research YouTube videos. This is my latest product research video on my channel. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend you to do so because it's another way of doing product research on Amazon to help you find winning products. And of course, book a call with us in the free training in the YouTube description below. Now let's take a look at our profitability calculator. This is $14.99. Now, depending on how you customize your product, you can list it for a little lower or a little higher. I always recommend you to list it higher after you have launched your product. Now I will talk about that at the end of this video, so please stick around. Um, but usually when you launch your own product on Amazon, you either want to be at the same price or a little higher if you have extra value to your product. What you cannot do is charge more and then sell the same thing because then customers will not buy your product. So unit manufacturing cost is how much we are paying our supplier on Alibaba.com to source that product. And what do you know? It says $3. That's so strange. I guess $3 here and then on Amazon, it said that uh, this seller is sourcing their product from Alibaba for $3. Anyway, Fulfillment cost, FBA fee, is already calculated for you. This information is pulled by Helium 10 from this seller, and that is how they got the FBA fee. So if we were to sell a baby rabbit rattle, and as long as we are not adding weight or additional size to it too much, then we can look at these numbers and think, okay, my product will be somewhat the same. The net profit is $5.23 for every single rattle sold. And the margin is 34%, which is really good. This is like 35% because it's 34.91%. Now, when you sell on Amazon, the margins here should always be over 30%, all right? That's just a great rule of thumb that I teach my students and I want you guys to learn the same. So that is step three. We are shipping products to the Amazon FBA warehouse and you want to double check your profit margins so you know how much to expect from sourcing this product and then selling it on Amazon's website. Now, next up, step four is to create your product listing. Now let's click on this rabbit's listing and what you want to do in your listing is something similar. And this looks like a pretty good listing to me, actually. So if you have Helium 10 installed, it tells you that this listing is a 9.8. So when you guys install Helium 10, the extension up here, you will also get an evaluation for your own product listing. That's why this tool is so handy and you need it to run your Amazon FBA business. Again, the coupon code is right here for 50% off. And you need to know whether or not your product listing is good. So here are the images that they have here. Make sure your images look better, you guys. It's so important that your images are either better or somewhat of the same quality. I cannot stress that enough. So this is your product listing and you will be able to build your product listing within your Amazon Seller Central account. So obviously I'm sure all you guys know you have to open up an Amazon Seller Central account. And when you do, you can build your product listing on Amazon Seller Central. Now the last step, this is step five, is launching your product. So we went all the way from choosing a product to sourcing a product to shipping it to the Amazon FB warehouse and double checking our profit margins to creating our product listing. And now when our listing is up and running and live on Amazon's website, this is like super exciting. It is now time to launch your product using Amazon PPC sponsored ads. Now, if you do not know what that means, then I suggest you to watch this YouTube video right here where I teach you how to use Amazon PPC sponsored ads. And this is my latest how to Amazon PPC video. So you do not want to miss that. But this is the website if you guys want to check it out. Now, basically, all this means is that you are running some advertising on Amazon. Now, if I go back to baby rabbit rattle page one, this rabbit right here is sponsored. So whoever that is selling this rabbit is running Amazon PPC campaigns. They are advertising their product on the first page to sit nicely on the top of page one. How cool is that? So you guys need to learn how to do this because without Amazon PPC today, you will not be able to launch your product properly, okay? I've seen so many sellers pick a great product, they have a winning product, and then they refuse to run Amazon PPC sponsored ads. And I'm just like, okay, well, how can you get eyeballs on your product at the very top of page one if you do not run any advertising? Now again, 
Amazon PPC is in a separate YouTube video that I recommended you to watch, so please watch it. And these are even more cooler ads. I mean, this seller, they are going hard on advertising. This seller right here, which we were just looking at, they even included a video for their advertising. Now, this is not required. This is more complex. This is after you get brand registry on Amazon. But just so you know, there are so many ways to advertise your product on Amazon where it lets buyers know that your product exists. And the more people that click on your ad, so if I click on this ad, if I click on any ad that says sponsored and I am a customer and I end up buying this product, my organic listing will move higher onto page one, meaning eventually you get to run less advertising and your product will sit nicely on the top of page one, just like this seller right here. Oh my gosh, these are different sellers, but so similar. I just saw that. Um, anyway, our original baby rabbit rattle is sitting nicely organically. Their organic listing, the one that they created, is on the top of page one without uh, PPC up here. You see how that works? So their uh, PPC ad is right here. And then their organic listing, which they are not paying for, is up here. So this is the ideal situation where you eventually want to be with your Amazon FB product. So let's review the steps so you guys know how to find winning products to sell on Amazon from scratch. Number one is to find your winning product. Number two is to source that product and brand that product from suppliers on Alibaba.com. Number three is to ship your inventory to the Amazon FB warehouse and let them do all of the hard work. And please double check those profit margins just in case. Number four, create your product listing within your Amazon Seller Central account. It should look beautiful like this one. And then lastly, uh, number five, you want to use Amazon PPC sponsored ads to launch your product. So eventually it can make it to the very first page for as many keywords as possible and customers will buy your product at the very top of page one. I hope this video has helped you guys today to start selling on Amazon from scratch. If you have any questions for me, then please leave it in the comment section in the YouTube video below, and I'll see you guys in my next YouTube video. Also, please help me give this YouTube video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will greatly appreciate it.